great to see so many people from all across the country banding together to help those that have been affected by Hurricane Harvey. Yeah, and we've got a special announcement. We're inviting you to join us for a big telethon. It's called Hand in Hand, a benefit for Hurricane Harvey Relief. Special event with celebrity appearances, musical performances, all to help raise funds to rebuild Texas yep. during this difficult time. I'm hearing some big, big names are involved. We want you to be as well. It all happens next Tuesday, September 12th, 8 p.m. We do hope you'll tune in. And of course, so much money, so many donations already coming in. We had that big day of giving last week. And call after call is coming in with money for those affected by the hurricane. I want to go back to Michael in Houston right now with a closer look at the relief efforts and where your donations are going. Hey, Michael. Hey, George, and that is right. Um, GMA took part in ABC's Day of Giving, raising more than $15 million for the Red Cross relief efforts. And we wanted to see how that money is, was being put to use, so we took a visit to some of the local Red Cross shelters to talk to some people there. Take a look. A heartfelt George, thank you to the tens of thousands here. of our viewers who opened their hearts and wallets on Disney and ABC's Day of Giving. Yes, so many people are pitching in for all those that are affected by Hurricane Harvey. Coming together to donate $15 million in counting for the Red Cross, helping people affected by one of the United States' most devastating hurricanes ever, right here in Southeast Texas. I have a strong belief to help those who, who are in need during these circumstances. What can I do to help? What can we do to help? Do those affected by the hurricane I just want to let you know the whole country is behind you, supporting you. We went to the George R. Brown Convention Center in downtown Houston to see just how the Red Cross is putting generous donations like yours to work. We are here to wrap our arms around the people of Texas to help them in their time of need, and we can only do it through the generous donations. The Red Cross says at least 33,000 people sought refuge in 284 Red Cross and partner shelters across Texas, and that they have supplies to support more than 85,000 victims. To date, they've served over 690,000 meals and snacks and have distributed more than 30,000 relief items like deodorant, toothbrushes, and diapers. Those emergency supplies help people like Tabitha Barnes and her family, including four kids under age six who lost their home to Harvey. We were almost out of food. It was just a horrible experience. So I reached out to the Red Cross and they sent someone to get us. In the shelter, the Barnes kids are able to unwind in this play area. And later in the day, choosing their own backpacks filled with coloring books and crayons. The feel of love is just, it's overwhelming. You know, these are strangers. They don't know me. They don't know my kids. And they're showing so much compassion. Savannah McCormick's a mom of three with one on the way. We lost everything. I lost all my birth certificates, everything. We had nothing but here at the shelter they gave us. They gave us a lot of stuff. 11-year-old Luis staying in the shelter with his family and his puppy Linda by his side after they were pushed out of their home by floodwaters. Inside, the water reached me to right here, my knee, and outside, it reached me to like right here. Even though it's tough to be a kid displaced from his home, Luis says he's grateful for the help his family's receiving. Thank you for doing stuff that, for the people that's here that need help. This morning is just 11 days after Harvey ravaged the region, and the road to rebuilding and recovering is just beginning. We're going to stay here as long as possible, and that's why it's important that people are generous with financial donations because it enables us to help them through each part of the recovery path. And so, guys, as you can see, a lot of those relief help, efforts are really helping a lot of people. Every dollar that's donated is really appreciated. It's really going to, to, the, to where it needs to go to help so many people out here. And when you drive down the streets and you're here on the ground, you drive down the street, you see furniture, all everyone's belongings on the side of the road ready for pickup. Um, by, by the garbage trucks, and it's really devastating to see. It's overwhelming to see, but the one thing that's come out of all of this is even more overwhelming is the love and support that everyone here has for each other. The way the community has come together, the way the whole country has come together to support um, this, this great city of Houston, my hometown, old good old H-Town. And, and I got to say, it is so overwhelming to be here in so many ways, but mostly from the love that everyone here has given to each other and the help that they're sharing as well. And I'm going to take my H-Town love and I'm going to throw it back to you guys <laughs> in New York City. And, Michael, we can feel that spirit here. I know you spent a lot of time across Houston yesterday. What's your sense of what the greatest need is right now? 
Well, George, when it comes to the greatest need of everyone here in Houston, to be honest with you, everything. There's nothing that isn't needed here. If you see the pile of equipment back here, that's just from one school. There are hundreds of schools here in this city, and then you have people who've lost everything in their homes. I, I think assistance is needed in every way, shape, or form. And it doesn't matter what you can give. As long as you can give something, you're going to absolutely help somebody. And there's nothing better in the, to, for the human and for the human spirit than to give and help those in need. And people have shown that through their efforts to help everyone here in Houston. I sure have. Okay, Michael, thanks very much. And all of you at home can still donate to the Red Cross by calling 855-999-GIVE or go to redcross.org slash ABC.